in your Bible interpretation. Don't condemn Bible characters that Bible itself did not condemn. Mm. And don't commend mm. Bible characters that Bible condemned. Oh. Don't find any revelation to commend the Bible characters yes, that Bible condemned. Yeah. Don't find any revelation to commend Bible characters mm. that Bible condemned. When I mean condemn, condemn their action, not yes, condemn their person. And uh, the first thing we must understand in this is who are the Bible characters? Bible characters are those men and women that the Bible talked about. Mm -hmm. They are the Bible characters. For example, people like Abraham, yeah. people like Sarah, people like Elijah, yes. people like David, people like Solomon, people like Elisha, people like Judas, yes. people like Gehaz. Yes, sir. There are many of them. In the New Testament, people like Paul, yeah. people like Peter, yes, sir. people like James, people like John, don't condemn Bible characters that Bible did not condemn. Yes, sir. Don't commend Bible characters that Bible condemned. Mm -hmm. And when we meet, we're not talking about their person. Yes. If you read most of them, you see many roles they play at different points. And uh, some of them, certain actions of theirs, certain things they did, some of them, Bible condemned them here and commended them another place. Mm. And for most of them, that their, some of their actions were condemned in some places, they were commended. Yes, sir. And some of them, almost all their actions were condemned. Yes, sir. People like Samson. You must understand that these Bible characters, their actions that are condemned is something we must learn from. So their actions that are commended yes. is something we also learn from. Yes, so when you commend yes. their actions that the Bible condemned, you pass a wrong message. Oh. Mm -hmm. When you now condemn their actions that were commended by in the Bible, you now pass a wrong <laughs> message too. Yes. And whatever you teach is what people live with. And that's what they practice. Yes, sir. Your children are watching. Your members are watching. Yes, sir. Your friends are watching. Yes, sir. They are listening to you. So while you are trying to find a revelation to make uh, an action that the Bible said was wrong, right, then you turn somebody's life from right to wrong. You just read and catch a revelation, but you must have this understanding. Mm. I cannot commend any action in the Bible that the Bible condemned. Yes. I was going to take a lot of examples. Yes. I once had a preacher while he was trying to preach to explain the mercy of God, he said Judas went to heaven. And his revelation, he tried to adjust things to make it look like Judas played the, 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 the role in making Jesus die. He said, because the Bible, Jesus already said yes. that the son of perdition was going to betray him. Yes, and Jesus said he was going to die before he died. Yes, so he said, Judas helped him to go to the cross. And he was preaching. He said, the church should thank Judas. That if not Judas, that Jesus wouldn't have gone to the cross. Okay. So he was doing it to co commend the betrayer. And he now quoted scripture by saying that all things work together for good to them that love God. Oh. You see, he's, he was already out of order. Oh. He said, all things work together for good to them that love God. So as a result of it, he linked it by commending Judas mm. for helping Jesus to get to the cross. Ah. As, though, as though without Judas, Jesus wouldn't have found his way to the cross. It's after Jesus prophesied that he was going to betray him. In fact, he was able to prove. He said Judas killed himself before Jesus died on the cross. He said Judas, when he saw what was going on, yes. he went and hung himself. Yes, so that when Jesus went to the hell, where he preached to, you know, he, he quoted scripture, the Bible said he preached to spirit. He preached to people in hell. And many Old Testament said came out of the grave with him. So he said that he went to preach to Judas there. And he forgot that the people who were in Abraham's bosom yeah. in paradise, yes, sir. those people yes, sir. were the Old Testament saints. Old Testament. There were also people who were already in hell, yes, sir. in a place of torment, yes, sir. like the rich man who was in hell. Yes, sir. And there was a big gulf that separated them. Before, By that time, the Old Testament saints hadn't gone to heaven yes, sir. because the atmosphere was still blocked. It was the resurrection of Jesus that opened the atmosphere. It was that sacrifice. Yes. No saint could go to heaven by that time except Elijah and, um, and Enoch. Yes, 
Yes, and those two, they were technologies that God used to take them to heaven. Yes, he used the technology of walking into God. The Bible mm -hmm. says, and Enoch walked with God and was no more. Hey. It means that he walked with God and entered God. So when God took him, the Bible says, and God took him. Yes. So when God took him, even, even the, the God of this world, as at that time, could even hey. see him. So he went to Lama, God. He thought Lama, it was Lama, God Lama, going. Lama no for Elijah, heaven had to introduce a technology called chariots of fire. Yes, Why would they come with that? Why when chariots of fire? To clear the atmosphere. Yes, sir. Because he's God, he's sovereign. He can do whatever hey. he wanted to do. It is him that makes law. So he took Elijah. Yes, Apart from this two, no Old Testament saint went to heaven. Yes, Abraham was in that compartment called paradise. Yes, uh, others, they were in that compartment called paradise. Yes, and Jesus went there. It Bible said when he resurrected, many graves opened in Jerusalem. Many Old Testament and came out. And you know, when Jesus went to present himself to the Father, they were still hanging here. Yes, sir. He was, he, after that presentation that yes. they left, yes. because the Bible said they were appearing in Jerusalem, yes. you know, talking to their people, say, look, you can imagine someone come and say, I'm grandma. I've been in paradise at the Abraham bosom, but Jesus came and cleared the place. We are up and we're about to go to heaven. You know, they were appearing. He said ah. they were missing. There was commotion in Jerusalem. Okay. So where Jesus went to bring them out to empty the place was actually in paradise, okay. not hell. Mm. Because even at, even the, 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 that one in hell was still looking for, 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 for water. Yes, sir. And Abraham said, well, if you have crossed, you have crossed. They couldn't go to heaven because you can only go to heaven by Jesus. Mm. So this man now did not understand this in the pain of trying to show the mercy of God. Yes. He now said even Judas couldn't stay there. Okay. So what you're preaching is that, yes, we know that the Bible says it's not his will for every, any man to perish. But if you reject Jesus, you will go to hell. Yes, so what they're saying is that even if you reject Jesus, by that teaching, even if you, re if you see, see what they're teaching, even if you reject Jesus and you go there, the mercy of God will still locate you and take you up there. So while you're trying to commend Bible character that Bible condemned, you will teach another thing yes, that is sir. not in line with the scripture. So you just stay. This is a strong principle. You just understand that once Bible said this action is bad, say it's bad. Mm. 